we're back here with Amber. It's been a few days since the last video we filmed, talking about getting the proper sit and the proper down, that competition style, really pretty look. And uh, we got it figured out. Mostly did it with hand goring, a little bit of leash pressure. So let me sh show you what that looks like. Again, to get that proper down from this position, need her to actually go into a stand before she drops into a down. Keep an eye on where her shoulders stay during this routine and her front paws. So watch the sit. See, that's a bad one. That's not what we want. Yes, that's the good one. We want that booty to scoot up to her chest. You'll see it get better and better as we progress through this session. So here's just a stand, just to get her in the rhythm. Yes. Good. Now from this stand, I can get that real pretty down. Yes. Oh, it's looking beautiful. Yes. Call that that booty scoot sit. All right. Now, if I ask her to down the improper way, she's literally going to come off. So we get got to get her into a stand, then into a down. Same thing. If a dirty sit. Here's a dirty one. Oh, no, 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 we don't pay for that. I purposely did it just to show you, but we're not gonna play that no more. Here we go. Looking for that booty scoop. That's okay. Get a little better on that one. Yes, all right. And again, into a stand before we go into a down. Yes. Into a stand before the sit. Nope. Of course, when we start filming, she goes back to this. It could be as simple as just that that one rep of us reminding her of that bad way of doing it and, and you get the ugly rep. So we're gonna iron it out right now while we're on camera. We don't pay for the ugly sits. Barking doesn't do it. Definitely doesn't get it. She's just frustrated. We let the frustration set in and they learn. They learn from the frustration. Yeah, I know. Are you ready for some more? Yes, we'll just work a lot more stands. The more stands we get, the better the sit's gonna be. So from a down, right into a stand, yes. Back into a down. Stand, down, yes. Good. Down, yes. Good girl. Stand, yes. Down. Stand, yes. Down, yes. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna go right into a sit. Yes. Now we're gonna work stands from a sit. Stand, yes. A lot of patience. And we'll just work those pretty sits. Nope. Let's go back to a little bit of leash pressure to help us so she doesn't keep scooting back. That's how quickly those habits can get developed. Just a few days of doing it the wrong way. And now we gotta spend some time getting it pretty. So, can't keep dropping them. All right. Here we go. Good girl. Nope, just try that again. Yes, that's the one. I hope you're seeing the difference. A very fine difference between the two, but it makes all the difference in the world. Stand, yes. She only had to get a couple pieces for the stand. Big hits, yes, for the pretty sits, just like that. Big payments. So, one or two pieces on the stand, good. In fact, we try to get back on. She's looking for some low laying fruit, the easy peasy stuff, not gonna happen. There is nothing on the ground for her. She won't check out. Yes. Good. No, no, no. <laughs> She's a little confused on what to do there, and that's fine. We just keep working through it. And it's hot out, as you can tell, so we're gonna get ready to end this session. Oh, she found a free one. Shame on the trainer. Shame on the trainer. Why work for your food if you can get the free stuff? We have to end this here in the next minute or two because she's getting real cooked. Oh, stop dropping them. Here we go, here we go. Yes. Big payment, she's gonna pet her, praise her up, because that's the kind of pretty sit we're looking for. It's a beautiful thing. We'll keep paying her on that. Big jackpots here. We're gonna end the session on some more jackpots. We're gonna go right back into a stand. As soon as she's ready, chowing down. Nope. 
Nope, nope, nope. You know, and I'll let her figure it out on her own that there's nothing there. That's how quickly they learn to check out. You get one or two little free pieces of food on the ground, and then you get into trouble. Okay. Looking for that pretty sit? Nope. I'm going to start blocking her axis off that way. See her looking for the free ones? Doesn't happen. Get in on the place where we'll hook her up. Yes. All right, here we go. Yes. Good girl. That's what gets you paid, young lady. Okay, we're gonna go back into a little bit of a stand. Nope. We're gonna start to pressure her here real soon if she keeps coming off without being told to. So, yes, we're using a, a, a slip lead, pretty thin slip lead to get a little more control out of it. But we wanna get her out of that, that habit. Normally I'd crowd her a little more when I'm trying to open it up so you can see. And you can see now, like, definitely hot. She's a little checked out. Um, this is what can happen if you push the sessions too long. Obviously, these sessions get a little interrupted because I'm trying to explain to you what we're doing. Yes, she's getting that rhythm, though. Nice. We're three for three on the last one. So let's get a nice stand again, and then I'll wait for a sit. Yeah, it's the way she's licking them. I'm looking for one more. She does not do well in the heat. It is a hot one out today, so. All right, we'll just end it there. This might end up being another uh, video where we check back in, and then, and then a few more days, and by then it should be perfect. So I'm sweating. She's cooking. She's looking for some water. So we'll end it there. Um, I still got some more food to pair, so we'll have to go back in the AC to do that. So she's a tough little booger, though. These staff, are, these staff, uh, Staffordshire Terriers are built like little tanks, so she's tough. Yes. I just want to finish this food here while we'll, we still got her. All right. Video is maybe a little boring, but that's how it goes. The beginning steps of teaching the proper sit, the proper down, make it look pretty. Um, keep checking back in. Again, she's only three months and about a week old. So check back in a little bit and we'll show you some more. See you in the next video. You're still doing it.